Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Civil Liberties News. Today we've got some, uh, I don't know, maybe it's kind of controversial news about the virus. Headlines are, coronavirus has mutated into at least 30 different strains. If you scroll down and you read through, it's a study that was uh, carried out by a professor in China. I believe the university in Hangzhou, if I'm saying that correctly. And there's a, a link to the, um, the non-peer-reviewed paper that was released on Sunday. If you follow that link, it's going to bring you to here, which is uh, the preprint server for health sciences. Patient-derived mutations impact pathogenicity of SARS-CoV-2. And pathogenicity is the virus's ability to basically to cause death. So they're saying that this virus is mutating, that it's got at least 30 different strains out there. Uh, some of the strains are up to 270-fold differences when it when infecting the Vero E6 cells. That's kind of crazy, you know? We know viruses mutate. This one seems to, and I'm not a scientist, but it seems to be mutating quickly, almost as if it was designed to do so. I don't know, guys. I'm really under the impression that this is not a naturally occurring virus. This is something I believe, in my opinion, that was created in a laboratory and possibly released to cause worldwide devastation. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Now, with all this being said, if you scroll down here and you read through these comments on this, it's it's really sad, man. The social dissonance related to this virus is it's pretty high. I think it's pretty normal for us as humans to try to distance ourselves from something that's that's you know really bad that's going on. You know, you got a lot of these people saying can't trust China, you know, don't don't trust China. They're just trying to spread fear, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't know, you know, maybe they are, maybe they're not. It's hard to tell. What I do know is that viruses mutate and it's not really uh, beyond the realm of possibility that that's what's happening and that it's becoming more deadly. We also know from previous pandemics, like the one of 1918, that the second wave of any pandemic is usually the most deadly. And why is that? Probably because the virus has mutated to try to survive, right? In 1918, everybody that was infected with the second wave died. There was no survivors. So with all that being said, right, everything that we just discussed, coronavirus mutating, paper being released. Also in headlines is infect everyone how herd immunity could work for poor countries. They're suggesting in countries like India that are poorer to just open the country up and let the virus spread. Get herd immunity. Only the way that they word it, it kind of sounds a little weird. Like, like right here. They said, allowing the virus to be unleashed in a controlled way for the next seven months would give 60% of the country's people immunity by November and thus halt the disease. Mortality could be limited as the virus spreads compared to European nations like Italy given that 93.5% of the Indian population is younger than 65, they said, though no death toll projections were released. That's a high number of the population to be below 65. What does that say about India? What, people don't live to be much older than 65? <laughs> Only like 6.5%? Uh, but anyways, just the way that they word this by saying allowing the virus to be unleashed in a controlled way. Listen guys, here in the United States, with all the talks about reopening the country, they're not going to come out and say, we're just going to open the country back up and gain herd immunity. They're not going to say that in the United States. If our country opens back up, you can bet that that's what they're doing. They're saying that basically it's not worth it to ruin our economy and possibly send us into a Great Depression. In place of that, they're going to open the country up. They're still going to say, um, keep distance from people, you know, wear masks when you go outside. But it's basically going to be, let the virus go. Let it spread. Let it infect however many people. We'll deal with the deaths. Within six months, we'll have herd immunity. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I honestly, I don't know... Like, what are our choices, you know? Do we stay on a lockdown, crash our
our economy and go into possibly a freaking Great Depression. We've all seen pictures of countries that their economies have collapsed and they're wheelbarrowing money to get a loaf of bread. I mean, I don't think we want that in our country, but are we prepared to deal with the amount of death that's going to come from a rapidly evolving, rapidly mutating virus that is likely to just be let go? But that's for you to decide, and that's for us to discuss down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I am definitely interested in hearing your opinion on this. Let's get a discussion going. Let's talk about this in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.